If you've been a Christian any length of time, you've probably heard people extolling the values of memorizing Scripture. For some, Scripture memorization seems to come easily. But for most of us, it's a difficult task that doesn't last long before we throw in the towel and convince ourselves that Scripture memory is for someone else. Now, if that describes you, stay tuned for an encouraging interview with someone who helps people obtain success in this area. We recently spoke with Dakota Lynch, IT and Communications Manager for Scripture Memory Fellowship. It's a Dallas-based organization giving people ways to memorize Scripture for over 70 years. Uh, Dakota, what part has Scripture memory played in your life? When I was 14 years old, I went through a really challenging season of my life. My parents were divorced, and life just became very difficult very quickly. And that's when I placed my faith in Christ. And just a couple months into my relationship with Christ, I was reading a book that challenged me to memorize. And I know at first I I was really skeptical about it because I was one of those people who felt like I did not have a good memory. But I, I decided to give it a try. And just a couple months into this discipline of memorizing, I noticed it was making a really positive difference in my life, and not only in my personal walk with God, but just in my ability to share truth with others and and to share the gospel. And so just a couple months into memorizing, I I found that my motivation for continuing to memorize changed. No longer was I doing this because I felt like I had to, but because I was really reaping the fruit of it, and it was making a positive difference in my life. And I would say that over the years, that has continued to be true. Of course, there are seasons when You memorize because you're supposed to do it, Uh, just like sometimes we brush our teeth because that's what you're supposed to do. But for the most part, this is something that I do because it's really made a a positive impact in my life, not only in my personal relationship with God, but in my relationships with others also. Dakota, what motivates you to be a part of an organization which is focused on Scripture memory? Well, you know, I think when you taste and see for yourself that something is so life-changing, it's it's natural, or at least it should be natural, to want to see others experience that same blessing. And so, as I said, I started memorizing when I was 14. It wasn't until about seven years later or so that I became involved with this ministry. And, And so, in a real sense, my motivation to memorize Scripture predated my involvement with this ministry, but... My, my love for the Word of God and, and my desire to memorize it really is what facilitated or, or what caused my involvement with this ministry to begin. And so it really, my, my participation in this ministry is just a natural outgrowth, if you will, of my desire to memorize and my desire to see other people experience the joy of it uh, as, I, as I have. Let's talk a little bit about uh, this ministry, which is Scripture Memory Fellowship. Describe that for me. Sure. Well, our mission is to cultivate systematic scripture memorizers who know Jesus Christ and grow in his likeness for the glory of God. And as we talk to people around the country and even around the world, we find that most Christians are favorable towards the idea of memorizing. That is to say, most Christians believe this is important and worth doing. But generally speaking, most Christians lack a specific plan. Uh, it's, it's as if we know, generally speaking, that this is something we should do, but we don't quite know where to start. And so our ministry uh, really attempts to help Christians take that first and most important step by deciding specifically, what am I going to memorize, and how am I going to go about doing that? And so our ministry really has a, a variety of memory courses that we encourage the Christians to consider using. Uh, one of those is called Sword Grip, and it's really been more popular uh, in recent days. And it's just very simple. It's a memory course where Christians can memorize key verses from every book of the New Testament. And after about six months, they'll have a grip on what each book of the New Testament teaches. So in a nutshell, uh, our ministry believes that memorizing Scripture is worth doing, but we try to offer practical tools and resources to help Christians take those, those first important steps in their in their journey of memorizing is your fellowship uh focused on any one specific age group 
Not really. Uh, we we know that it's it's common for uh, people to believe that memorizing is something that kids do, you know, in, in Sunday school or in VBS, and of course that's valuable, but we really believe that memorizing is something that Christians of all ages can benefit from. And so we have resources for every age, uh, not only for adults, but uh, children down, down to infancy. And, of course, the younger the memorizer is, the more we try to help them with things like scripture songs and coloring books, things that are very age-appropriate. But uh, we have memorizers who are uh, two uh, years old, and we have memorizers who are in their 90s. So really, age is, is not a factor, except in the sense that it, it somewhat affects how we try to serve them and, and the tools that we offer. We're speaking with Dakota Lynch, who is the IT and communication manager for the organization Scripture Memory Fellowship. Dakota, now, most adults would probably think that they're too busy to memorize Scripture. What do you say to that? Yeah, this might sound cliche, but I think... We, we always take time for what matters most to us. Um, you know, I, I've, ma- I've been married for the last three years, and as busy as my life gets, I don't think my wife would let me off the hook if I said, you know, honey, I just haven't had time to talk to you lately or to spend in fellowship with you. I think she would say, you know, if, if you really love me as you say you do, then you should make time. And, you know, we don't try to guilt people into memorizing Scripture. That's not what it's about. But we try to start by just encouraging them to realize this is something that they can do, and it's something that we that we really should make time for, because uh, if, in fact, the Word of God is infallible, and we know that it is, then uh, by all means it deserves our attention. In light of that, how does someone develop a discipline to memorize Scripture? I think it's something that requires a specific plan. Uh, If I say to myself that I'm going to memorize Scripture this week, but I don't lay out a specific strategy, I'm unlikely to be successful at it. Uh, But I think we need to slot a specific time each day to spend memorizing. You know, some people are most um, sharp in the mornings, and so they would do well to say, okay, I'll, I'll spend 10 minutes in the morning, with my cup of coffee in my left hand and my Bible in my right, and that'll be the time that I spend memorizing. Or perhaps mornings are not good for you, and and the afternoon during lunch or the evenings after dinner are best. But just find a specific time and say, I'm going to spend 10, 15, 20 minutes focusing specifically on God's Word. And and I think that's really the best way to establish a discipline, having specific uh, times that you decide to spend in God's Word. Dakota, what would you say is a realistic amount of Scripture for adults to memorize on a regular basis and not get discouraged? I would say starting with a goal of one verse a week is is a good place to start. And, And I say that because even if a person has never memorized before, or even if they truly have a bad memory, one verse a week is is doable for most people. Uh, I would say that building up to something more like three or four verses a week is also very doable. But just remembering that your memory is very much like a muscle. Uh, If I was going to take on a a routine of physical exercise, I probably would not start by running three miles a day, but by starting with one and working up to that higher goal. And I would say, similarly, uh, adults should, should expect that over time they'll improve in their ability to memorize. And as they do, they can increase their weekly goal. But starting off with one or two verses a week, I think, is a good place to start. What might be a few of the results people find when they commit to memorizing Scripture? Well, I think the first thing that we should expect is opposition. Uh, I I think when we decide to take on this discipline of memorizing Scripture, uh, we, we can expect that life will continue to be busy. We can expect that we'll become discouraged and that um, that it won't be easy. Uh, but I, I think we should also expect that it will be tremendously worthwhile. Uh, I'm reminded of Psalm 119, 165. It says, Great peace have they which love your law, and nothing causes them to stumble. And so I think as, as we read that verse, we're attracted to this idea of great peace. And as we read Joshua 1, 8, which talks about having good success. That's something that we want also. 
But in both of these passages, that's a blessing that's promised to those who delight in God's Word, those who meditate in it day and night, that they may observe to do according to all that's written therein. So just taking Scripture at its word, I think we can expect the blessings of great peace. Uh, we can expect to have good success and, uh, and a host of other benefits. But I, I would say those are the two that come to mind, uh, just an increased sense of God's presence, an increased confidence in our faith, increased peace. And uh, again, I could go on and on, but those are the, the few that come to mind off the top of my head. We're speaking with Dakota Lynch, who is the IT and Communication Manager for the organization, the Fellowship Scripture Memory Fellowship. Dakota, we uh, a few minutes ago just briefly touched on some of the resources of that uh, the fellowship uh, provides. Could you briefly talk about your website and what people would uh, find when they go there in terms of the resources they can take advantage of? Sure. Well, our our most popular resource right now is called Sword Grip, and uh, essentially it's designed to be a good starting point whether you are a brand new memorizer or someone who's been memorizing for a long time. And it's designed to help you get a grip on the sword of the Spirit by memorizing verses from every book. And that's one uh, aspect of our website that's very prominently featured. So if a person goes to scripturememory.com, they'll be invited right away to get started with the sword grip program. Another resource that we offer is uh, we actually have two smartphone apps, and those are both completely free. Uh, the one that I'll mention is called Verse Locker, and they can uh, access that by going to verselocker.com. And essentially, it allows you to memorize something like sword grip, or we have collections of verses on things like uh, the promises of God or how to share our faith effectively, just verses on those specific issues. But you can also add your own verses. So if, if you've had a list of 10 verses and, and you've just been wishing to memorize those, Verse Locker is a free resource that will help you memorize those verses, and it has uh, a number of tools that help you do that. But those are the, the two big pieces of our website that people can expect to encounter, Sword Grip as well as our digital resources and our smartphone apps. And what is the uh, website address? That is scripturememory.com. Scripturememory.com. In closing, if you could encourage one of our listeners uh, to this interview to begin the discipline of Scripture memory, what would you say? I would just uh, quote a memorizer named Andrew Davis who said this, When Judgment Day comes, we will regret the waste of a single moment not used for the glory of Christ. We will, however, not waste a single moment we spent diligently studying and memorizing God's Word. We'll only wish we had done more of that. And so just to restate that in my own words, you know, there are a lot of things that I spend time doing every day. I spend time mowing grass. I spend time at my office. I spend time with friends and on Facebook. And in their own way, those things are valuable, but they don't uh, begin to even uh, hold a candle to the value of God's Word. And I, and I think in eternity... I'll look back perhaps on my life and regret certain things that I spent time on and, and wish that I had prioritized certain things a little bit more. But I can be very sure that when I uh, remember those moments spent in the Word of God, hiding it in my heart, I'll be happy that I did that. And so in that sense, I think we can memorize Scripture knowing that this is a guaranteed investment. It's something that's going to be worthwhile, and it's something we'll never regret doing. And that was Dakota Lynch, IT and Communication Manager, or Scripture Memory Fellowship. For more information about Scripture Memory and the tools available to do so, just log on to scripturememory.com.